Torah. So today our topic is, I am Allah. Muslims, you ask me why you don't like to show yourself. First of all, I'm a very, very aggressive person. And as all Allah, Allah is all together is me now. Prove me wrong. You see, you want to insult Christian friends, so uh, uh, do it, who care? I'm going to whip the floor of your God with my shoes. I am Allah. What you can do about it? You see, I'm not saying I'm God, I'm saying I am Allah. Worship me. What is the proof that I am Allah is exist, which is me supposedly, I am Allah now. Who want to insult me? Anyone? Feel free. Uh, really, you are welcome. Actually, I'm thinking to change the name of my channel and I call it I Am Allah. We search in the internet to find somebody who can tell us about Allah and we find this idiot. Go to the perfection of Allah now. Allah can't be compared to anyone. And Allah created this creature like water and there's nothing you can compare to it. He says, Subhanalladhi khalaq al azwaja kullaha. So commonly mistranslated, but I'll translate it in a, in a Pindu way first and then I'll translate it fixed way. How perfect is the one who created spouses, pairs of all kinds. <coughs> and look how excited he is. True, I created the spouses of all kind. Uh, continue please. Uh, how perfect. And why you get so excited so fast? Uh, uh, say it again please. So commonly mistranslated, but I'll translate it in a, in a Pindu way first and then I'll translate it fixed way. How perfect is the one who created spouses, pairs of all kinds? Let us go to the Quran. I am Allah and I'm telling you, I made a mistake there. Stupid mistake. See how humble I am? <clears throat> Alright. Just to show you how a stupid certified idiot donkey is the one who made the Quran. See, I am, sometimes I am Allah, but I have two, two personality. Sometimes uh, uh, the donkey, which is supposedly in the heaven of Islam, is the one who made the Quran. Mostly I don't, you know, because I'm busy, I'm asleep. So, we created from every living thing, two pairs. Supposedly he is going to translate correct translation. <clears throat> All right. I don't know why he did not read for us starting from here. Let us go here. Honestly, I mean, hold on, let me let me see which which verse he was going to put for us on the screen. Let us see, let us see. Which verse is this verse? Translation, he created everything in pairs. <laughs> so he created spouses of all kinds. All kinds. Not spouses or pairs of everything, but pairs from all kinds of... Look at the liar. Look at the liar. Look at the... You see, do you see why he changed the translation? Because that is showing a mistake. Uh, actually, this is not the the one he's reading. Let me find you the one he's reading. Allah, he created spouse from all kind. All right. They will not show you the whole verse because it's very embarrassing. Not this one. Any Muslim he feel like he can answer us. Please feel free, because this is a pure comedy. And don't worry, you know, you can play taqiyya with me, the burqa, the burqa of Islam.
if we go to this verse, and we go to this verse. And the funny is, you know, the Muslims, when they read the Quran, right away, they reject the translation of the Quran. The first thing they do, and they are the one who translated. The reason a person like this, he will not be happy from what the Quran is saying, because the Quran exposed the stupidity of the maker of the Quran, Aka Muhammad. He said, I don't know why people, they say that Allah created uh, from everything in the translation. It doesn't say everything, but here we go, the Arabic in front of you. وَمِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَا زَوْجَيْنِ So you might remember. From everything. So when this guy, he says, it doesn't say that, he is doing a fraud, corrupting his Quran, which is I'm going to punish him for it, and I'm going to make his penis shorter when he go to my heaven. He will not be rewarded. He will not have endless penis. He will have like two miles only. So the verse says, and of everything we have created pairs or in pairs. But if we ask the Muslims, did Allah created male and female angels? No. Male and female shaitan. Remember the first shaitan, he have no, there's no female. There's a bliss. No. Uh, did Allah created female moon and male moon, female sun and male sun? Well, everything is male and female. It says it clearly there. Everything we have created in pairs. And if you don't like this translation, Abdul, I, I don't mind. I can change the translation to anything you want. Which translation you like? And you will see all of them, they will make fun of Allah, showing that the one who made the Quran is an idiot of the village. See, we change that translation now. And of everything we have created in pairs, change the translation. This is Halali and Khan. Let us go to uh, Big Tad. Muhammad Biktar. All of them, they are Muhammad. No wonder this, this is coming stupid. And all things we have created in pairs. Hmm. Who is a Muslim can help me and give me a better translation, something he accept? Muhammad Asad. Let us see Muhammad Asad. All of them saying everything. Why this guy in his videos, he, he took the everything. What happened to everything? Any Muslim can tell me why this guy is corrupting the Quran? What happened? Let us go to the verse before it. Hmm. All right, listen carefully. You Muslims, I mean, and not even one Muslim says to him, shame on you, you are changing the Quran. All Muslim translation, no exception, saying everything, because in Arabic it says everything. It is the one who created spouses. Pairs of all kinds. He said all kinds. Maybe he's reading a different verse. I'm trying to read because he is mixing the words upside down. Hold on, I think he is reading a different verse. There's no, you know, Amar Khan, you know, he's a good boy. He's a burqa guy. But he sent nice pictures in WhatsApp, by the way. Which, which verse is this guy? Usually they put the, the, the name so we can... Uh, I mean, why this verse is mixed up? I mean, what, what he is reading? Hey Muslim, can somebody help me? What this guy is talking about? The Quran have tons of verses, but it's not saying what he is saying. Which one? 
chapter 13 verse number 3 it says it is he who spread the earth wide and spread the earth wide or he make it flat how you spread the earth wide explain to me how he spread it it was a better and he spread it like a cheese hmm. so he spread the earth wide this is your translation and placed in on firm mountain so according to me Allah I placed mountains in the top of the earth the earth was first not flat I made it flat then I brought some rocks because they are so big for a human they call them mountains but for Allah they are small they are rocks so he put the rocks in the top of the earth and then uh, I made the running water brother okay and then I created their own two success of everything look, look at this do you see it Muslims so if he's, he's trying to play with the game with this verse or that verse both of them they get him busted so Muslim how you explain to me that I am Allah he made a, such a mistake I think we should fix this any Muslim would like to help us where is everybody uh, today is Sunday people they are in church or they are with their family hmm. anyone can help us is it true that everything is exist in this earth or in the universe because it says everything you know and if this one is about creating the earth only uh, remember still in the earth there's many animals they have no gender no gender there's many bacteria have no gender. So where is the what, what is that a mistake? And the other verse says, and from everything we created male and female. Any Muslim? So this guy is so excited he is saying to us Allah he created first of all shouldn't you pray prove to me that Allah created anything here we go I am Allah hey guys there's a cat outside in my yard I created this cat prove me wrong I mean how silly this argument is so you are excited for this God Allah but what is the proof that he can create anything in the time of Muhammad he could not create a fly you see what Muslims they do, they say to you that Jesus have miracle, Allah gave it to them. So how he don't give to Jesus, to Muhammad? So I can claim now that I am the one who gave the miracle to Jesus too. Anyone can claim that. Hey Jesus, it's not you who raised people from death. It's me and I, I give you power. I give you the keys. This is silly. This is stupid. What is the proof Muslims that your God can create a mosquito? Secondly, when the Muslims they say that Jesus he created from the mother bird and they say Allah is one but now we have more than one God because what make God God is to be creator correct and as long Jesus he can create well Jesus is a creator and right now in the sky we have a bird flying in the sky made by Jesus can you deny that? You will say to me, Allah, he gave him ability. That will not change the fact that he is a creator. He gave him ability. So now he have the ability. Thank you very much. So, and there is no proof of this ability thing. Except you claim that your prophet said that there is his God is the one who gave it to Jesus. But Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus. And you know, I am Allah. So I have, I suffer from flight of thoughts. Always. Like one verse, I'm talking about creating the earth and the heaven. The second verse, I will talk about Michael Jackson. You know? Prove me wrong, Muslims. Prove me wrong. Who want to do so? Uh, anyway. Who is a Muslim here? And he want to explain to us how Allah created from everything two sexes. Anyone?
21. All Muhammad enemy became Muslims in Mecca. No, they did not become Muslims in Mecca. He killed them all. I mean, either you die or you convert to Islam, you know. Did they convert before he uh, took over the city? No. <laughs> like now, if you go to a town and ISIS, they get in. And they say either convert or die. And all they will, will make you a slave. We will treat you like garbage. Most of people, they will convert. You know the story. See, as long as you have an army, and the army is what made you take over, then you did not convert anyone. That is the truth. Uh, any Muslim want to answer us? I like it when somebody says, well, you know, the same in Mecca. What in Mecca? He killed everybody. Actually, he started giving, you kill this guy, you slaughter this guy, you cut the neck of this guy. Are you Christian? You don't claim to be God? Well, is Allah is God? Are you stupid or what? Is Allah God? I am Allah. Is Allah is God? You are certified as stupid, you idiot. Because Allah is not God. Allah is a fiction, stupid name. I can borrow his name for a day or two. Don't worry. Be happy. How you are a Christian and you say you are God? Where I said I'm God? I, I'm saying I'm a fiction. God worship me for the idiots. Who want to prove me wrong? Uh, Lut Hudi, are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, but still, did Muhammad see Allah? Well, it says he saw Allah. Aisha, she said, the one who's, uh, who say that the Prophet saw uh, Allah, he is, you know, he is lying. So even Aisha confirm that is not true. Let us see where is the hadith. Here we go. I ask Aisha if Muhammad, peace be upon him, had seen the Lord. She replied, Hollywood be Allah. Allah from Hollywood, by the way. And uh, my hair stood and uh, end when she said, uh, the hadith. Uh, where is the rest of the hadith? Hold on. Yeah, he's not mentioning the rest. Let us find the rest of the hadith. So Muhammad. He never saw Allah, and Aisha, she said, this is a big fat lie. Yeah, this is a hadith here, but let me show you more. Let me give you the hadith which I am looking for. Any Muslim want to call us? All right, I think we found the hadith. You can't open a Muslim website without having a commercial.
And actually, I, it's better if uh, if the Muslims agree that Allah is so Muhammad because that will make things easier for us to prove Allah to be false. Yeah, here we go. So they told her, did the Prophet, he saw his Lord? I should say, said, you have made, you, you have said uh, something, make my hair stand. Okay. And then she said to you, whoever said such a thing is a liar. Do you see it? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Do we have any Muslim? Sometimes it takes us time to find uh, reference, but better than not, because you know, we, we don't prepare for anything. I just uh, use my memory. Uh, well, if Allah, he used hijab, so how he saw him anyway? So the Quran says that Allah, he used burqa, you are right, he is a female God, wearing burqa. That's mean Allah never saw him, again. Because if somebody spoke from behind the veil, well, you did not see him then, you know? Chapter 42, verse number 51. It's not for Allah to speak to any mortal man, unless either by inspiration, or from behind the veil. All right. Again, we go back to zero. Who is a Muslim want to help us? How Allah He makes such a mistake? Until now, you see, we are watching a Muslim video trying to find how Allah can be Allah, and then we find that Allah is nothing but an idiot. And I am not. And I am Allah now. I really am upset. I mean, obviously, the one who used my name and he wrote the Quran, he is a fraud, or at least he put some of my uh, some words there of, from me, which is the true words. Uh, as an example, in the Quran, I said uh, the word bism, which is true. The rest is not mine. Bism, which means in the name. That's my. I said that, and then the rest of the book is not mine. So I'm trying to find out who is the one who made such a stupid thing. Look what this guy, how excited he is, look. Depends in a fixed way. How perfect is the one who created spouses, pairs of all kinds. Okay. How I am the one is talking, just to show you, it's not me who's talking. How I am the one is talking, and then I say, how perfect is he? Can somebody help me? Let us continue with this video, so we can have more comedy. He is talking and then he says, how, how perfect is he? Okay, who is saying that? Allah. Why he don't say how perfect I am? And what kind of religion is saying, how perfect I am? Like, what is that? Pindu translation, he created everything in pairs. Do you see? He created everything in pairs. Which one is the correct translation? The truth is this one. He created everything in pairs. And this guy is a liar. But because he trying to cover the stupidity of the one who wrote the Quran, he don't like the translation. So he created spouses of all kinds. Not spouses or pairs of everything, but pairs from all kinds of things. How true is that? Who is the spice for the moon, spouse of the moon? Who is the spouse of the angels? Who is the spouse? Does Jibreel have a wife? And there's a male angels and female angels? The Quran says Allah created the mule. Is a mule is born? I mean, like, did Allah create a kind of an animal? It's called the mule by itself. 
So like there's donkey and there's a mule and there's a horse. There's nothing that's called a mule at all actually. A mule is an, uh, two animals from two family, uh, Mr. Donkey, Mrs. Uh, or Mrs. Donkey, Mr. Horse. Uh, Ted, you know Ted the horse? They have boom boom. Then they have a mule, so, but you created from everything male and female. There's a male, uh, you created a male mule and you create male, female mule. Okay, let us continue. مما تنبت الأرض from what comes out of the earth ومن أنفسهم and even from within themselves ومما لا يعلمون and out of things they don't even know. Exactly. And other things you do not know. And that will make cover everything. That's it, you know. And look how excited he is. Allah created all kinds of pairs. Mm -hmm. Now somebody emailed me, brother, Quran says everything is created in pairs. What about amoeba? <laughs> what about a virus? What about, you know, unicellular organisms? Like, yeah, please. What? <laughs> See, those things, because they cannot answer them, they are making mockery of those questions. Did you hear how they laugh? He's a comedian now. And the Muslim females with their work are like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, here we go. Are they this? Are they, they created by Allah? Isn't it the verse says everything? So when there is a question hit and this question destroy what they just said, they make a mockery of it. Islam is the religion of mockery is the way of Islam. This is why I deal with Muslims. In a certain way, because this is how they understand things. Civil conversation never exists. Even if they speak to you kind in front of you, the second you turn your face, they make a mockery. It's a mockery religion. Even their God, Allah, which is today is me, is nothing but a mockery. He made a chapter about Abu Lahab. Very funny, very stupid. Go and read it. You will die laughing. Let us go back. مما تنبت الأرض from what comes out of the earth ومن أنفسهم and even from within themselves ومما لا يعلمون and out of things they don't even know Allah created all kinds of pairs hmm. now somebody emailed me brother Quran says everything is created in pairs what about amoeba <laughs> what about a virus what about you know unicellular organisms like yeah please what? <laughs> see he will not answer it he will make fun of it yeah what about it what's wrong with you isn't it everything in this earth created by Allah? See, see Muslims how the mockery work? This is a very serious question. Why you are making mockery? Because this, this question will destroy our religion. When the verse says from everything, it's mean from everything. He didn't say from a human only. Do you see the religion of the mockery? The Quran says, from everything. And actually, that even goes to those questions specifically, because he said everything, not everyone. Correct, people? Thing is a thing. You don't say to a human, thing right so this is goes all the way to the animals and creatures whatever they are so from everything we created opposite sex so what about the amoeba what about the viruses what about the bacteria what about the angels so to avoid the question we make a mockery it's a mockery cult what happened to the person who is so excited to answer? Suddenly he make fun of a question which is very serious. All the excitement disappear. Suddenly the scholar became a potato. There's so many words that I've heard my uncle say in Punjabi that come in my head. I don't even speak Punjabi. But like words like Uluda Partha or like, you know, they just, they just come in my head when I read those emails. I don't want to get angry at this person because you're not supposed to be angry. Why you are going to be angry from this person? Where is the answer? I mean, can you believe it? He didn't want to get angry. He didn't want to get angry. 
You know, this is remind me of Muhammad when he uh, when they insulted him. I mentioned to you when a man he came to have sex with his wife, and he told her he is a fool. We have to obey. Muhammad, when uh, uh, the Arab they ask him a question or they make fun of him because he's a coward, he don't dare to really to refute them. He don't dare to debate them, and he don't dare even to say to them, "I am right, you are wrong." So Muhammad, when when he was in Mecca and he was weak. He always bite his tail. And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is very authentic. Are you going to say to us it's weak? So where the sun goes, I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said, it goes, I eat, travel, tell, prostrate in the, th in the throne and take permission to rise again and permit it. And then the time will come. It will be about to prostrate itself. Its prostration will not be accepted. Oh, son, why you are not accepted now? The son, she will look at Allah like, what? You don't accept my prostrate? What, what happened? And it will ask. Will ask permission to go. The son talked to Allah. He Allah. No, 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 no. I'm the son talking to you. Since when the son talk, man? The son asked permission every day to come back. True story. Science. But it will not be permitted, but it will be ordered to enter. Once it has come, it rises from the west. Like what? And then he say, Muhammad, he did not stop his bubble. He continued like, Muhammad, come on. For the sake of the shin of Allah, you, you made a scandal for the Muslim now. Can't you stop there so they can play some games? No, he have to continue. And this is the interpretation of the statement of Allah that the, the sun rises its fixed course what they did in the video they made it that the earth is changing rotation do you see it do you see that they have no honesty they lie even to their own people i mean your prophet saying it is the sun is going around the earth it's the sun who goes every day and prostrate under the throne of allah it is not the earth girl itself. The, sun, the, the earth in Islam is a flat. This is why Muhammad is speaking such a way. And Muhammad, he made it so clear. And this is the interpretation of the statement of Allah that the sun runs into a fixed course. So what the fixed course? The sun goes every day, asks for permission. Allah permitted. And one day in the judgment day, Allah will say to the sun, go back from the west. Do you see it? Read with me carefully. This will be the routine every day. Ask for permission, Allah will be given permission. But this time, the son after prostrate will ask for permission and their permission will not be accepted. Or prostration will accept it. And it will ask permission to go on its course, the normal course to come from the, from the east. But it will not be permitted. But it will be ordered to return whence it has come so it will rise from the west. Do you see it? In the video, science, the earth, brother, according to science, the rotation is slowing down every 10,000 years, five seconds, whatever. So all this video is a fraud. And now, this is very embarrassing to me, by the way, because today I'm Allah, as you know. Uh, because how I choose such a prophet to say stupid lies like this. Hey, Muhammad, you got me busted. Muhammad, Habibi, what you did? Can't you keep your mouth shut? How many times I told you? When we go to visit the people, sit on the chair, eat your chocolate, and don't talk. For the sake of Allah, don't talk. Sorry, Allah. I thought I'm helping. What's wrong with you? And now it is registered there. And there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince. He will go live on air and he will make a scandal about it. And he will say, we put Allah inside the burqa and he's a coward. Allah, why we don't show you, sir? Can the son speak? You see, I have no problem with the son speaking. I can take it metaphorically, but obviously this is physic, you know. This is not about metaphorical no more, you know. By the way, the son speak to me every day. You know, like I look at the sky and the sky is a blue, and then I hear the sun singing for me, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, blue. And I said, Why are you are calling me mommy? I said, Aren't you Allah now? Allah is the mommy, 
is the mummy of the pharaoh. Oh, mummy. Hmm? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? Now we are going to take calls. So those who flood the chat, uh, you know, there's a caller, there's a caller, you know, there's no caller, there's a Pepsi caller. They don't call. We go in Pal Talk and then they don't call. They are terrified. So now I will open my Pal Talk and I want to see the comment of the Muhammad, any Muhammad, and we will speak to you nicely. You are welcome. If you try to insult, be careful. The Christian prince, you don't tolerate. Especially today, I am Allah. So I will be very rude if you are going to be rude with me. You know, Allah is very rude. Isn't it the Prophet, he said, if somebody is proud about his previous inheritance before Islam, like his family, tell him to go and bite the penis of your father. Look how nice the language of Muhammad for the sake of, don't talk again, don't talk. What bite the penis, man? What's wrong with you? All right, we have, I'm a Muslim. 